Alright guys, so hopefully you see this like good because I was having problems with that part of this because I remember I had this on another angle but I cannot pull my phone right now like that So yes, today we have another primer haul <laughs> No, actually, um, this is like a short one and this was because I went to Amsterdam like last week and you will probably see that on Wednesday's video, like the video before this one. And I needed some clothes. So I'm gonna show you. Let's start with the video. Choo -choo. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the best t-shirt in the world. You will probably see this clothes on the Amsterdam blog just because I wanted to do this video before I went to Amsterdam, but I didn't have time. So here it is. So the worst t-shirt in the world is this cutie right here which is like a normal white t-shirt but it says santa pos and it's and it's a kitty how cute is this and you know the good thing about this is that it was two pound fifty two pound fifty for this cutie second one i have like i, I bought like two of those t-shirts and then another one which I forgot to bring to Amsterdam. Okay, so the second one I bought like is the same thing, but this is on a grey and it says so over it with a rainbow and I think it's so cute, like so good. So I actually quite liked it. And I bought it. And there were more like Santa related and they were so cute, but the ones that I liked the most were those two. And then another one that I bought was this kind, this one. This was, I think it was like six pounds though, but it's all cute as well. And this is like cropped. I don't know if you can see it. This is like a crop one and it has like bottoms and it's this orangey, dark orangey vintage color, if that makes sense, with stripes. That, that, that's my, my flatmate in the background cooking and I'm so hungry so because I forgot to bring this one don't know why um <laughs> I had to buy like another shirt because I needed one shirt <laughs> so I went to a primer in Amsterdam and I found the best t-shirt in the world like honestly it's the best t-shirt in the world so it's like you see this and it's like a normal white t-shirt like short sleeves and stuff but then it has this angry egg i don't know if you can see it you can it says they see me rowing they hating no it's like they see me rowing they hating i don't know i just find it so so good it was supposed to be eight pounds and I was like, okay, that's fine. But then I went to the um, to pay it and it was like actually three pounds. So um, yeah, I should have bought like another one just in case. And then what else do we have? This is like a bodysuit, right? Like this is like a blue and stripes and like this knit material. This was on the part of the sale selection and I was just browsing around and I loved it. Like a I saw it and I liked it so I went there and it was marked as six pounds because it didn't have like anything um, that it says on sale or something like that but it was on the part where it says uh, three pounds only or something like that on red so I thought okay if it's three pounds that's fine why not um but then if it's six pounds I mean it's six pounds but I don't need any other of these ones because it's almost winter and it's like no sleep so and then i went to pay and it was actually one pound one pound one pound one pound so yes it's with me now it has a zip on it on your boobs so i thought it was like quite cute and then talking about sales i saw this camel jacket and i've always wanted to have like a camel jacket so it's this oversized like it's oversized camo jacket with the stripes on the sleeves and you'll probably see me wearing that on Amsterdam 
like because I wore I wore it like every day because it was too hot for my actual cozy jacket. So this was twenty pounds, but then it was on the sale selection as well. So I think it's because there is this is supposed to be like a spring summery thing, and it was on ten pounds. So I was like, oh yes, you are coming with me. So yeah, I I loved it. Like I had this is like a ten. This is an S, like 10, 12, and I'm saying it's oversized because it really is oversized because I'm normally uh, 12, kind of, like 12, 14, if that makes sense, and this is 10, 12, so yeah. And then, uh, I think this is the last piece of clothes. I did it like um, new trousers, so I thought that I could wear like just black jeans normal jeans with like um knee you see knee kind of holes but they were so cool and i think these were 13 pounds i think so pretty damn good and i think that it's it for clothes i'm hungry and then i bought like a few pieces from the makeup thing department obviously so what i bought because i went to true primarks like honestly because in Glasgow we have Primer, Argyle Street, and the other one is Sochi Hall or something like that. So one is on the bottom and the other one is on the top, on the city centre. So I went first to the top and then I went down to the bottom. So on the first Primer I bought this thingy. <laughs> this thingy. Um, this liquid lipstick because I saw it and I think it was one pound and I was like, mm, why not? Uh, cause I've never tried anything like well not anything I tried like I've tried like one eyeshadow palette from Primark but that's it like I've never tried anything else so I saw this and I'm planning to do like um a testing primer makeup video so that will be useful so I tried this uh, I tried this no I bought this which is a PS Pro Kiss Proof Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade. Dark Intention. Dark Intention. And then I went to the other one and I realized that I needed something to take my makeup off. So I saw this small Garnier Active Cleanser thing and it was £1.20 maybe? £1.80? So I said, you're coming with me because I need you. And I saw this Smoothing Dead Sea mask that I was planning to put before I went to go to Amsterdam, but then I didn't have time. So I think I'm gonna do testing. I think I'm gonna do testing uh, primer mask sheets, sheets, masks, and things. So this could be useful. And it was like ATP, so why not? And then the last two products I have is. One, this take foundation, which I was I wasn't sure about about the um, the shade because, as we all know, I don't know how to shade match. So I have the shade Ivory, which I think it's pretty good for me and my skin. And I've tried it actually. I've tried it um, on Amsterdam like two, three times, and it worked pretty well. But I want to see if it's actually. Because I mix it with my um, Maybelline one, so I want to test, like, properly test this one on my own face, like, just this, to see how it is. Uh, because I saw Stephanie Toms do a review on it, and she was loving it, so it might need a try. We'll see. And then last but not least, I think this was, so the foundation was, like, 250 and then I bought as well this matte lipstick in the shade Naked. And I thought it would cool be like a uh, orangey shady thing, which mm, smells good. Which if you see, that's quite, it's quite nice. But then if I apply it, let me try it. If I apply it to my lips, I look like a dead person. Well, forget my skin because it's just horrible. You see this? Now, this is like concealer lip, but horrible. So we'll have, I would have to try it like actually with um, with a lip liner or something because this is looking horrible. It's creamy, but it looks actually 
for a moment. So yeah. Oh well, and in Amsterdam I have to buy like cotton pads from Etos. Because yeah, why not? So I'm gonna take this off. Oh, I'm gonna show you like the um, color from this liquid matte lipstick. Ooh, it looks actually quite good. Not bad, not bad. That's the liquid lipstick and this is like the matte lipstick one. For being like a matte lipstick, it's quite creamy though. So that, that's a good point for primer. Now I'm gonna take this off. My skin is looking like so horrible recently and I don't know why. But well. So this was everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to be part of the coolest family in the YouTube world, click that subscribe button and the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And if you want to comment something down below, we'll appreciate it. Like, what do you usually buy at Primark? Um, what do you want me to try from Primark makeup? That would be awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Let me hold you, come caress my body. You got me going crazy. You turn me on, turn me on. Let me love you. Put your arms around me. You got me going crazy. Turn me on, turn me on